Today is finally the day. This right here is the full interstellar mastery camo guide for Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. I was able to unlock the interstellar mastery camo in just under a week, and I'm going to provide you guys all the information that you need to know, go over challenges that are currently broken, things that are currently not working, provide information on that, and also give you guys information on game mode, the base camo challenges, the gilded camo challenges, the forge camo challenges, and the priceless camo challenges for each weapon class in Modern Warfare. Fair 3. Now, before I do get any further into this video, if you guys do find this video helpful in any way, shape, or form, make sure you guys hit that like button down below because that shows others that you found this video helpful and enjoyable. And also, while you're at it, make sure you guys subscribe as well for more Modern Warfare 3 content. I'm going to provide a lot more tips, tricks, videos, and things like that on future weapons and just future camos that we get. And also, I have timestamps listed down below for any sort of section that you need to get to for like best game modes. If you need a certain base camo challenge for a certain weapon class, check those out in the description anyways guys let's get into this so i do want to start is this grind actually worth it i mean dude this is a master camo grind not a lot of people have time to actually go for this camo challenge and honestly i think it is worth it if you are a dedicated call of duty fan and plan on playing this game for you know the rest of the year i would highly suggest going for it First off, this game has 36 total weapons that you have to get gilded and forge camo and priceless camo, which is the lowest we've seen in quite a long time. The, comparing to Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 2 had 51 weapons. You also had a right shield in that game. You had like three or four different launchers. And also the challenges, in my opinion, are probably the easiest we've seen. And this is coming from someone who got, you know, Damascus on Modern Warfare 2019, the Cold War Master Camos, the Vanguard Master Camos, and even the Modern Warfare 2 Master Camos also. So in short, I honestly think the grind is worth it. So now going over the known bugs with specific camo challenges, there's just things to know with certain weapons in the game. Obviously, these are subject to change. The, up the game's going to go through many, many updates. So I'll leave a pinned comment down below kind of adjusting things and giving updates on specific challenges that either are fixed or things that break and so on and so forth so going into the first thing is the big one the rgl 80 rocket launcher so the forge camo challenge for that is to destroy enemy equipment now the only enemy equipment that works are claymores and proximity mines unfortunately those are the only two things that work for enemy equipment i've tried this on personally i've tried this on munition boxes i've tried this on sentry guns i've tried this on guardians None of those work. The only two things that have worked and I've been told that have only worked still are claymores and proximity mines. Now the challenge for the X amount of kills with one mag, like 15 or 10 times, how I was doing this, I was making sure I was fully reloaded with the magazine. I would get the three kills with the one magazine and then reload after. Now what I would not do is basically spam the YY button to switch to another weapon or pick up another gun because this can possibly mess up this specific challenge. So just whenever you do this one, try not to YY, try not to do other things besides reloading after the three kills that you get or the five kills or however many you have to get. And also these do not stack. So let's say if you have a gun like an LMG where you have to get three kills with one mag 10 times or something, and you get like six kills with one mag. It only counts as one. It doesn't count as two. So just reload after the three kills or the however many kills with the one mag. Now the challenge we have to get penetration kills. The best maps I found for this is playing on high rise in the middle of B flag. There are the wire fences. You can actually shoot through those. And those count as the penetration kills. Scrapyard by the B flag is also a great spot for this as well. And terminal in the plane between the windows counts as wall bang kills as well. You can also get wall bang kills sometimes through the actual windows itself. You can shoot between them and that also counts as wall bang kills. So currently with the X amount of kills without dying, it's mainly with the five kills without dying a certain amount of times. This is currently bugged and it's actually a great bug. So instead of having to get five kills without dying, it's actually getting the total amount of kills that you need. So example, if you have to get five kills without dying five times, that's a total of 25 kills. All you have to do is just get 25 kills. You can die four or five times in between and you can still get the 25 kills and that challenge will still track now for tactical stun kills the best modes are really just to play objective based game modes and free for all is also a great mode as well because you're also always going to be in like the 1v1 gunfights and it's going to be easier that way too make sure you're just running the engineer vest and running stuns i found that stuns are the only real thing that actually works you can't use like decoy grenades or something or like smokes so just use stuns, stun people, get the kill, 
it's probably the one of the hardest challenges and i think it's you have to do it for like all smgs it can be pretty tough but trust me once you kind of get the rhythm down it really isn't that bad and then lastly the magnification scope challenges um so far as i'm making this video you can actually use the normal slate reflector which is the normal red dot and that actually counts as a magnification scope i haven't tried any other scopes to see if those would work so i just know the slate reflector works if you like running like blue dots or just like the red dots or whatever slate reflector works as a magnification scope for those challenges so now going over the best game modes and what you guys should be playing to unlock lock camos and things like that if you're trying to level up weapons i think the two best game modes are going to be the war mode if you are playing multiplayer and zombies is also a great method as well currently for zombies the best method of leveling up weapons is doing the exfil method where you exfil a few times and actually exfil and then kind of rinse and repeat but don't stay in the game too long stay in it for like maybe 15 20 minutes and then the war mode is just getting as many kills as you can if you guys want separate guides on the zombies xp method there are tons of videos out there as i'm probably uploading this so go check those out now just overall game modes to play for actually doing the camo challenges i honestly still think the war game mode is pretty good for a lot of the challenges you could also play just quick play as well i recommend playing modes like hard point domination free for alls for some modes that i'll get into and also team deathmatch if you're just doing it casually kill confirmed i mean honestly is a good mode as well i would also recommend hardcore mainly for things like pistols and some shotguns you can also do in hardcore as well so now going over how you should set up your classes when going for camo challenges the one thing i would highly suggest if you are watching this right before you're starting your grind is work on the RGL 80. Make sure this thing is max level or at least to level four where you can do the 25 kill challenge for it because with this gun, and I'm gonna go over this in the its own separate section, but I'll go over it now, is the forged camo challenge is probably the hardest. You have to destroy 25 enemy equipment but the only things that work are claymores and proximity mines. I'm going to say that again in its own section, but I just wanted to say that now. Highly suggest putting on the RGL-80 as kind of like your pocket weapon. Just if you ever see those equipments, you can destroy them that way. And if you are doing that, I would suggest also the engineer vest as well, because you do see those enemy equipments, the claymores, proximity mines. And also, if they do ever fix this challenge, you can shoot down like the munition boxes or just score streaks in general. Obviously, for a primary weapon, you want to have the weapon that you are currently working on obviously tacticals really doesn't matter i was running decoys quite a lot honestly so it probably does matter if you are trying to level up your weapon decoy grenades are great because it's just passive xp you just kind of chuck them in the air you can really chuck them anywhere and you'll just get passive xp that way if you don't need the xp of your weapons maxed out or something i just go with stun grenades but it really honestly doesn't matter too much here for the field upgrades if you do want to replenish ammo munition box is the way to go you can also replenish your tacticals as well for like decoy grenades the gloves i was mainly rocking scavenger gloves i was also rocking ordnance as well for some challenges like the tactical challenges for smgs and other class sets as well so yeah honestly i was either rocking this or the scavenger gloves uh to pick up ammo for the boots i was mainly rocking covert sneakers when i did unlock them i think for the most part though i was either rocking lightweight boots or tactical pads for just faster movement you can also do the running sneakers as well too and then the gear also really doesn't matter i think the bone conduction headset is probably the best in this game the mag holder is also great as well for the um, x amount of kills with one single mag challenge or just to reload faster honestly and then also if you have ghost unlock too this is also a great one that i was rocking at times so now starting with the base camo challenge for each of the weapon class sets i'm going to go in order assault rifles battle rifles smg shotguns lmgs and then also get into the secondaries as well in that portion so i'm going to start with the base camo challenges just so we can keep this separate and we'll go over the gilded camo challenge and the forged camo challenge and the prices camo challenge for each of the weapon class sets so we're going to go in order from all primaries and then all secondaries so starting with assault rifles the base camo Camo challenges are also the same for each of the class sets too. So assault rifles is getting 50 kills with the assault rifle. This is very simple. And then 50 kills while ADS, which is aimed on sight. And then 15 headshot kills with that assault rifle. And then 25 kills while in tax stance with that assault rifle. Now, if you aren't familiar with how to actually force a tax stance, it's not going to show it here at the bottom right in the firing range. But when you're in the game, you're going to see two little icons one that kind of looks like a like an aim symbol and then another symbol and it'll tell you exactly what button you have to press for default on controller it is down on the d-pad to force the tax stance if you're on keyboard and mouse it's going to be the q button i believe or the q key to force the tax stance and yeah basically just aim in 
and that's attack stance kill right there okay so now getting into the battle rifle base camo challenges um these are also all the same for each of the battle rifles of course so it's getting 50 normal kills 50 kills while fully auto with the battle rifle which by the way currently all battle rifles are fully auto so you don't got to worry about that and then 10 kills while using magnification scope. I went over this previously, but you can use the slate reflector or really any red dot. I haven't tried any other ones, but I just know the slate reflector, it works 100%. And then the fourth one is getting 15 headshots. Just get the normal 15 headshots. So now going over the SMG based camo challenges, you have to get 50 normal kills, 25 hip fire kills, 10 kills while crouch or sliding with the SMG, and then 15 kills on operators affected by tacticals with the SMG. This is probably the hardest challenge you're going to have to do, and you have to do this with every single SMG, unfortunately. I gave tips on this previously, but just quick tips. Play free-for-all, use engineer vest, use stuns, stun them, and just pray that you get them and then just kill them. That's honestly all you can really do at the moment. Going over the shotgun base camo challenges, getting 50 normal kills, 50 hip fire kills, 10 kills while ADS would just aim down sight, and then 15 double kills with the shotgun. Going over the LMG base camo challenges, you have to get 50 normal kills, 10 penetration kills with the LMG, 10 kills with full attachments with the LMG, and then 10 double kills with the LMG. Now, I did also go over this again, 10 penetration kills. The best maps for this are high rise on B flag in the wire fences, scrapyard on B flag, I believe as well also works. And then terminal also has uh, good spots as well. In the plane, you can actually shoot between the windows and that counts as penetration kills. I haven't really found any other maps. There might be some comments down below of people recommending other maps, but those I found are the best map. For the marksman rifle, base camo challenges is getting 50 kills with the marksman rifle, 50 headshot kills with the marksman rifle, 10 kills with no attachments with the marksman rifle, and then two kills without dying 15 times with the marksman rifle. I did mention also in the kind of like known issues that the certain amount of kills, a certain amount of times, without dying uh it's currently bugged where you only have to get the total amount of kills i'm i haven't really checked to see if this worked with this weapon i didn't really notice it so just act like you know just i mean it's two kills without dying 15 times it's pretty simple so now going over the sniper rifle base camo challenges getting 50 normal kills 50 kills shortly after aim down sight which is basically a quick scope three kills with one magazine 10 times with the sniper rifle and 15 one shot one kills i went over tips on this as well all you got to do is just make sure you're fully loaded and get the three kills with the one mag and then reload. Don't YY your weapon. Don't pick up another weapon. Just make sure you have the weapon out and don't try not to just switch your weapon or do YY or anything like that because that can mess up the challenge. So now getting into the secondaries for the base camo challenges for the pistols is getting 50 normal kills, 50 kills while ADS or aim down sight. Uh, 10 kills while moving with the pistol and 15 kills with the akimbo attachment if you don't know where this is it is under the rear grips and it's just the akimbo uh, and then it'll say the weapon name there so now getting into the launchers or launcher there's only one thankfully in this game uh is the one camo they have to do at level four it's getting 25 kills with the launcher now getting into the melee weapons which is as of right now the gutter knife and the karambit it's getting 50 kills with that knife uh so that's going to be the same for both the knives for the one base camo so now going over the gilded camo challenges for each of the weapon class sets. So these are also the same for each of the class sets, uh, like AMRs, SMGs, all have the same gilded camo challenge. So starting with ARs and going in order again, you have to get three operator kills with one magazine 10 times. Now I gave tips on this previously, but the best thing to do is rock the um, biggest magazine that you have for the weapon. And all you do is try not to wire wire, try not to swap weapons or pick up another gun. Get the three kills with the one magazine, reload, get the three kills, reload, and so on and so forth. I think if you die in between and you get a like a one or two kills after, that may also count as three kills, but just treat it as like you're starting at zero if you do die. That's what I found has worked for me. So now the Gilded Camo Challenge with the Battle Rifles, you also have to get three Operator kills with one magazine 10 times. I've given tips on this. Again, all you do is get the three kills, reload, three kills, reload. Try not to YY, swap your gun, use the biggest magazine. So for SMGs, you have to get 10 kills without the enemy damaging you with the SMG that you have. This is also pretty simple. I mean, you can do this in hardcore because if you get shot anyways, you're most likely going to die. So you can do this in hardcore. I found is the easiest mode for this. So for shotguns, you have to get two kills shortly after sprinting in one life. It doesn't say exactly how many you need, but you need to do this 10 times. So what I found has actually worked for me for these specific camo challenges. I would basically just run, stop, and then, you know, try to kill them that way. And I found that that has worked. You just do that two times 
in one life. LMG is, is getting two kills without releasing the trigger 10 times. So you just want to rock the biggest magazine you have and basically get the two kills without releasing the trigger 10 times. Honestly, people think this is a hard challenge, but if you play war, people will just constantly be spawning. So you'll get this done, no problem. So now the Gilded Camo Challenges for the Marsh Rifle is getting 10 kills while using a laser attachment with the Marsh Rifle. Um, laser attachments are obviously these ones here. You can really rock any of them. I do recommend the one that gives you the ADS time, which is mainly the FSS OLEV laser for most weapons. For sniper rifles, is getting 10 kills while being focused on the sight 10 times. So that's basically when you aim in, you hold down shift or you hold down the left uh, thumbstick, I believe, on controller. That is basically being focused on the player getting the kill that way. So now getting into the secondaries, you have to get 10 kills without the enemy damaging you. So that's basically kind of like the SMG. So I would also do this in hardcore. For the RGL-80, you have to get 10 kills by hitting the enemy with a direct impact. This may seem pretty challenging, but honestly, for most kills I was getting anyways, I was getting these direct impacts done. So yeah, this is pretty simple. You just maybe play a game or two with the launcher and get the direct impacts that way. And then lastly, for the combat knives, you have to get 10 kills on operators affected by your tactical. Um, so yeah, again, like the SMGs, I would recommend playing free for all or objective based modes, throw stuns, use engineer vest and best of luck. All right, so now getting into the forge camo challenges, these are different for each of the assault rifles. So starting with the SVA 545, you have to get 25 multi kills, which is basically double kills or higher. For the MTZ 556, you have to get 10 kills while moving in tax stance with the assault rifles. So again, how to go into tax stance. If you go in game, look at the bottom right, there's going to be the two symbols there. You want to press down on the D-pad for controller or Q for the most part, if those are set to default. For the Holger 556, you have to get 25 kills with an underbarrel attachment. So uh, obviously, if you go to the underbarrels here at the bottom, it'll really be any of these. I like using these three here if you guys are looking for a recommendation. For the MCW, you have to get three kills without dying 10 times with the assault rifle. Again, this challenge, I believe, is still bugged where you all just basically have to get 30 total kills, but I would still treat this as the challenge actually working just so you can kind of get used to the feel of trying to get the kills without dying for other weapons. For the DG-58, you have to get 10 kills while ADS and strafing with a DG-58, so just just aim down sight and strafing is just basically moving left to right so just keep spamming that while trying to basically get this done for the fr556 hitting 20 operator one burst kills with the fr556 so basically go into hardcore and just get kills because most of the time one burst will be uh just a one burst kill anyways now going over the battle rifles for the bass b you have to get 10 multi kills which is basically double kills or higher for the side you have to get 25 one shot kills to go into hardcore and just get kills for the mtz 760 you have to get 25 kills while ads and fully loaded so what that means is before you kill somebody just basically make sure you are fully fully loaded and which is basically just you have a full mag in your gun and get the kill so now going over smgs for the striker you have to get three kills without dying 10 times again i think this challenge may possibly possibly be bugged still um but yeah just i mean try to get the three kills without dying 10 times i mean personally i don't find it that hard but some of you might so just keep trying maybe play a couple of games and try to get the three kills without dying 10 times good luck for the wsp swarm you have to get 10 hip fire kills while enemies are affected by your tactical so use stun grenades use engineer vest play free for all like i mentioned before or objective based game modes throw stuns and good luck for the amr9 you have to get 10 kills shortly after ads with the amr9 i honestly found that i was just playing normal core game modes like war and i was able to get this done could be easier in hardcore if you guys are struggling with this one uh, but yeah basically you'll just kind of like quick scope with the smg so aim in get the kill as fast as you can and then aim out and that's basically shortly after ads for the wsp9 you have to get 10 kills using a magnification scope i found that the slate reflector works even though it doesn't really magnify anything but the slate reflector works for all weapons with this challenge and then for the rival lane same as the amr9 challenge you have to get 10 kills shortly after ads so try to aiming in as, as fast as you can um i just suggest playing hardcore i was also able to do this in normal core game mode so really just whatever you prefer lastly for smgs the striker 9 is getting 15 long shot kills thankfully there really isn't a lot of weapons they have to do long shots for but the striker nine you do have to i'd recommend throwing on a just basically a bigger optic so you can see people better throw on the biggest barrel the muzzles and all that the you know extended mag or whatever play hardcore play on big maps a lot of the maps really you can get the long shots done on um estate's a good map wasteland's also a great map for this as well for the shotguns now starting with the lockwood 680 you have to get 25 one shot kills while ads Hardcore, I found, was pretty easy for this. For the Haymaker, you have to get three hip fire kills with one magazine 15 times. So with this, just make sure you're fully loaded. Use the biggest magazine. 
get the three kills with one mag and then reload it three kills one mag three load yada yada repeat that try not to swap your weapon or you pick up weapons because that could mess it up and then lastly for the river you have to get 25 multi kills with just getting double or triple kills higher than that hardcore might work for this you could just do this in normal modes as well. Just play objective-based game modes. War mode also is great for this too. So not going over the LMGs. I'm not going to try to pronounce the first one here, but you have to get 25 kills with a magnification scope. The slate reflector does work for this. For the DG50 LSW, you have to get 25 kills while ADS are aimed on sight and moving. So just move around while you're ADS and get kills. Holger 26, um, this is also kind of the same thing too. Get 25 kills while ADS and strafing. So that's moving left to right. If you're on keyboard and mouse, that's A and D. If you're on controller, that's moving your left stick side to side and just get kills that way while I'm down sight. And then lastly for the Bruin MK9 is going to be getting 20 suppressed headshot kills. Now I honestly kind of tripped up with this, but it's pretty simple. You just put on a suppressor for the muzzle and get the headshots that way. There's going to be a lot of other weapons with this challenge as well. So just make sure you are rocking a suppressor for this to count. So now going over the Marsham Rifle Forge Camo challenges, starting with the KVD and Forge, you have to get 25 one shot, one kills. I believe you can do this with headshots in normal core game modes, but I just be safe. I'd play hardcore for this if you are able to. If you're tired of hardcore, then just play normal base game modes and try to go for headshots. Now, before I get into the MCW 6.8, a good tip for this is you can use the conversion kit. This turns this gun into a fully auto, which has helped for most of these challenges. Uh, but going over the Forge Camo challenge is getting three kills with one magazine 15 times. So again, I would suggest using the conversion kit if you haven't unlocked. Get the three kills with one mag. You basically just reload it um, after getting three kills and try not to swap your weapon or any of that stuff or pick up another gun. So now for the DM56 Forge Camo Challenge, you have to get 25 kills while on tax stance. So again, how to force the tax stance. If you're in game, if you look at the bottom right, the two little symbols will tell you exactly how to go into tax stance. It'll tell you if it's down on the D-pad or if it's a certain key on your keyboard. That's how you go into tax stance and get 25 kills that way. Lastly, for the MTZ Interceptor, you have to get three kills without dying 10 times. So just get three kills without dying 10 times. Very simple. I mean, well, maybe not very simple for some people, but hardcore was very helpful. Try to play a little bit more passive. Try not to push, uh, you know, like objectives and stuff like that. Now going over snipers for the Cat AMR, probably the hardest challenge is getting the 15 penetration kills. Again, I went over this in my kind of like tips and like things that are kind of broken or kind of just things to know. Penetration kills are best on a high rise, especially scrapyard B flag and terminal is also good uh, in between the windows on the plane. I'm not sure if there's any other maps. Like I said, leave in the comments if you guys have any good maps that are good for penetration kills. The longbow, you have to get 25 kills while ADS and fully loaded. So basically what this means is when you get the kill, you just want to make sure, you know, before you get the kill, you want to make sure you are fully loaded, which is just make sure, making sure you just reload and then get the kill. And then for the KV inhibitor, you have to get 25 headshot kills. So 25 headshot kills, very simple, maybe not, but yep, 25 headshots, okay. So now getting into secondaries, starting with the pistols, the core 45, you have to get 15, kills on injured enemies so i was just playing normal core game modes get into the objectives um especially hard point where people are getting shot at and, and like nades are throwing and get the 15 kills this was honestly pretty easy for the forge camo challenge for the renetti you have to get 25 long shot kills which is probably pretty hard for a lot of people but again pistols have a very short like long range like distance i'm not sure the exact distance um so really any map honestly will work for this um the renity also does have the conversion kit where it turns it into basically an smg so that's also very helpful i'd rock this if you guys have this unlocked for the tire pistol the magnum you have to get 25 one shot kills uh play hardcore for this you can i think get one shots in normal core but Hardcore is just better for this. And then for the WSP Stinger, just get 25 hip fire kills while strafing. So make sure you use things that boost hip fire. You can also use a Kimbo for this. That was helpful for me too for some of these challenges for this weapon. And for the big one, this is probably the hardest current challenge for the camo grind for Interstellar is for the launcher, the RGL 80 is destroying 25 enemy equipment. Now I went over this in my tip section and things that helped me. But with this gun, you have to just destroy claymores and proximity mines. Those are the only things that work for enemy equipment. The way to get this done really fast if you're just trying to rush this is play free for all. Ask people in game nicely. Hey, can you drop claymores or can you drop proximity mines? And someone might also be working on this challenge. So I would just suggest doing that to get this done. Um, you can also just play like objective modes if you're just playing this passively because people ha I've been seeing a lot more people use claymores. I don't know if that's just like a placebo or something, but 
play objective based modes that has been helpful um again i think the best way to get this done fast is just ask someone in game in free for all if someone's nice and get this done i wish you good luck and then lastly for the melee weapons these are different for each of the knives but for the gutter knife is getting five kills without dying five times so this is currently bugged so you can actually get a total of just 25 kills however if they do patch this which i assume they might patch this um Good luck with getting the five kills without dying five times. Um, I would suggest using things that keep you off the radar, ghosts, using covert sneakers, keep you hidden. Uh, but yeah, as of right now, this is bugged where you just only have to get 25 total kills. Lastly, for the Crambay, is getting 20 kills without the enemy damaging you. This was pretty tough for me. This took a couple of games, but use stuns so that they don't damage you. Uh, objective modes um, would be helpful for, the, for this one too. All right, so now going over the priceless camo challenges. These are also different for each weapon. So I'm gonna do this a little bit differently than I did. I was kind of like cutting in between for each weapon for the forge camo. I'm just gonna kind of go through these ones here. Uh, so for the first saw rifle, the SVA 545 is getting 15 headshots with a magnification scope. So that's gonna be with a slight reflector. Uh, getting into the next assault rifle here, the MTZ-556 is going to be getting 10 enemies affected by tactical as well on attack stands. So you can force attack stands again. The icon is are at the bottom right. There's like down on the D-pad or Q on the keyboard if you're playing keyboard and mouse, I believe are the defaults for this one. And then for the Holger-556, you have to get... Uh, 15 long shot kills while mounted. This one was pretty tough, but I was playing hardcore for this on a state mounted on like the brick walls. That was helping me out with this camo challenge. And then for the MCW is going to be getting five kills without dying 10 times. So again, this is currently bugged where all you have to do is get a total amount of kills. However, if this is not bugged and they've patched it, um, again, play objective modes, keep things, you know, use silencers, to keep you off the radar if you're struggling with this one badly. And then for the DG58, you have to get 10 burst kills, play hardcore, but I think you can also one burst in normal core modes as of right now. This gun's pretty broken, but I would play hardcore just so you can confirm the burst kills that way. And then lastly for the FR556, you have to get 15 operator headshot kills with a magnification scope. So again, slight reflector. And I would also play hardcore for this too, but you can do this in core modes. This gun honestly isn't really that great in my opinion. So just whatever mode is good for that. Next up with battle rifles, you have to get 25 suppressed clean kills. Now I have found that this clean kills challenge is just getting 25 normal kills. In my experience, I mean, you can try to get like a nice kill while you're not missing a shot. That might help, but I was just getting 25 normal kills and this was tracking for me. So yeah, I just get 25 normal kills and you should have no problem with that. For the Sidewinder, which is honestly the worst battle rifle, 25 long shot kills. Um, I was just playing hardcore for this. Rock a big scope, rock the big magazines for this one. And then for the MTZ 762, you have to get the 15 semi-auto headshot kills with a magnification scope. So just make sure you are in semi-auto. You can do that with, I think it's the left on the D-pad to switch it from full auto to semi-auto. It could be wrong, um, but make sure you do this with a slight reflector. I think I also tried to do this with just being in full auto, but it didn't work. So make sure you are in semi-auto while doing this. All right, so now going into SMGs. So for the striker, you have to get five kills without dying 10 times. Again, this is currently bugged where you can just get 50 kills, but if it's not, best of luck, use suppressors, use the biggest magazine, uh, use things to keep you off the radar if you are struggling pretty bad with this challenge. Uh, going with the WSP Swarm, this they did also recently change this challenge for some reason. Um, this used to be a Kimbo double kills, but they changed it to uh, 10 operator double kills while on tax stands. Uh, so make sure you are in tax stands. You can activate that with the symbols at the bottom right. And then for AMR9 is going to be getting 10 kills while being out of enemy's line of sight. This one I actually kind of struggled with. Um, you just want to make sure you're like kind of like playing campy and like kind of playing in their spawn a little bit, um, playing in spots where like you can kind of see someone coming around the corner. That's how you get these challenges done. Um, I wish you good luck with that, but I was kind of struggling with those, not going to lie. Uh, for the WSP9, you have to get 10 suppressed headshot kills. So that's just basically put on a suppressor and get headshots. Um, any suppressor works. I was using the one that would give like bolt velocity and damage range that one's probably the best one to use for any of those challenges for the rival nine i just lost it it's right here um i do have the beta thing on but it doesn't matter um this is gonna be getting 10 suppressed um double kills so again use a suppressor and get double kills so that's two kills very fast 
And then for the striker nine, is going to be getting 15 headshots while moving. So make sure you move around and try to get headshots. That's actually a pretty hard challenge. I, I remember that one being pretty tough when I was doing that challenge. So good luck with that one. Um, I would use like a slight reflector because the iron sights can be a little booty cheeks. So yeah, good luck with that. All right, so now getting into shotguns, the Lockwood 680, you have to get five hip fire kills while moving. So this one's pretty simple. Just make sure you are moving while trying to get the hip fire kills and use attachments that help with the hip fire uh going into the haymaker is going to be um 10 double kills while in tax stance with the haymaker so you i didn't even know you could go into tax stance with the shotguns until i got to this challenge uh so yeah just go into tax stance activate it at the bottom right and get double kills that way and then for the riveter is going to be getting uh five kills without dying five times so again this challenge is currently bugged you can just get a total of 25 kills um, but I, if they do ever patch this, you know, it's a five kills without dying five times. I wish you good luck with this one because this shotgun honestly was not that great. Hardcore might be your best option for this one. So now getting into LMGs. So this one was pretty tough. This is getting five kills with one magazine 10 times. This is the one I just, it just took a while for me. This took like two or three games for some reason. For some reason, the challenge just wasn't tracking at all. Like I would get like four of these and it would only count for two. But again, the best thing I'd recommend is getting, you know, make sure you're fully loaded, get the five kills with the one magazine, use the biggest magazine, and then reload after. Try not to YY or swap weapons or pick up another gun because that could mess with it. But for some reason, this one just was not tracking. I honestly don't know why. Um, I hope they do fix that in the future, which maybe they will, maybe they won't. Um, for the next LMG, the DG58, you have to get 25 hip fire kills while strafing. So this one was also pretty tough. I did also test this with tax stands. Tax stands doesn't work for this challenge. You do actually have to hip fire. Um, the hip fire is pretty inaccurate with this LMG. So just use things that can help with the hip fire accuracy. And then the Holger 26 is going to be getting 25 hip fire kills while moving. This one's a little more accurate with hip fire kills. But again, use things that help with hip fire accuracy. Um, again, these, uh, the priceless challenges are pretty tough. Probably the toughest challenges, obviously for most of the weapons. And then for the Bruin MK9 is getting three kills with one magazine, 10 times. So again, use the biggest magazine, get three kills, reload, three kills, reload. You can't stack these. You can't get six kills with one mag and count it as two. Um, I, again, I went over, I've went over this so many times. So now getting into the Martian rifles. So for the first one, which is the KVD enforcer, you have to get 25 extreme magnification, eight times kills. So basically that optic is, there's actually one that is designated for eight times. Uh, but basically you want to look at the pros on the, um, optics and make sure it is like eight times. So I think there's one. So this one here would work eight times. Um, let's see if there's another one. There was another one that I saw was really good this one i hear also is good too um i guess that is honestly all of them yeah so just make sure i think it just makes sure it is eight times or higher than eight times and it should work out fine for you um mc mcw 68 for this one is going to be getting uh 15 suppressed clean kills again i went over this with the battle rifle a clean kill is just a normal kill that i've experienced you don't have to do anything fancy but just make sure you are suppressed with a suppressor on and also this does have a conversion kit which turns it into assault rifle so you can also use that too it does hurt the damage but honestly the damage is still pretty good with it uh the dm56 is going to be getting 15 headshot kills with an iron sight uh, with the DM56 so make sure you're using an iron sight and build this out for just like accuracy to help with the headshots and then lastly for the MTZ interceptor you have to get five kills without dying five times so again this one is bugged still as I'm making this video so just get 25 total kills or try to get the five kills without dying five times if they did patch it I wish you good luck with this challenge so with snipers these challenges were honestly pretty easy for the most part except for maybe a few of them so for the cat AMR you have to get three suppressed headshots so three suppressed headshots make sure you're running a suppressor and then going over the longbow which is the next one is going to be getting five kills without dying three times so yeah just get five kills without dying three times again this one I think might be bugged but five kills, just try your best. Um, I would honestly rock a slate reflector if you're playing smaller maps. Um, I, I was pretty accurate with this for the most part. Uh, a lot of people don't know you can actually rock slate reflectors on snipers, at least for the longbow you can. Um, while I'm like losing my track here. Um, for the last sniper, which is the KV inhibitor, you have to get five headshot kills while moving. This one was pretty tricky, but I just wish you good luck. Um, 
Try, just try to move use a smaller scope to where it's almost kind of like a red dot where you're kind of like up in their face if you need to yeah five head shots while moving so make sure you move your just your left stick around um if you're on uh controller if you're on keyboard and mouse use wsd to move around so now for pistols starting with the core 45 you have to get 10 headshot kills pretty simple with that one and then for the renetti is going to be getting 25 headshot kills also with this one so yeah, those are kind of the same thing. Um, I'd recommend using the aftermarket or the conversion kit for this to turn it into an SMG. Kind of makes it a little bit easier there. For the tire, it's going to be getting 25 kills using a magnification scope. So again, with this one, you can use just a slate reflector on this, or you can use the bigger like ACOG one where it turns it into a sniper if you want to be cool. Um, WSP Stinger um, for this one is going to, be, going to be getting 25 enemies affected by tactical using a Kimbo. This is a pretty hard one too. It might take a couple of games. Again, play free for all. Play objective modes. Uh, good luck on this one. And then for the RGL80 launcher, it's getting 25 double kills. This one I also kind of struggled with, but play hardcore for a few matches. Uh, Rust is a great map for this because they kind of all spawn consistently. Um, so try to find Rust in hardcore, and you should probably have this done in maybe one or two games, or one game, honestly, if you're pretty lucky and get a good lobby with that. And then the two combat knives, or the two knives, are uh, different challenges for each of them. So for the gutter knife, he's getting 15 revenge kills. I did this in normal game, uh, like normal, like, uh, I think it was like Domination or Hardpoint I did this in uh, on Rust. So smaller maps are great because you can kind of track the enemy down that way. Um, I would just basically kill them or no, they'd kill me. I'd rem remember their name and like their operator skin and try to hunt them down and kill them. Free for all is also a great mode for this too. If you guys are struggling with that, but yeah, it might take a couple of games for that one. Took me like two or three games. And then for the Krambit, the last weapon is getting 10 kills from behind. So use stun grenades, stun them, kill them from behind and kill them that way. And oh man, I just did so much talking, but that is all of the camo challenges. After you complete Price's camo for all of the weapons, you do unlock the interstellar camo. And that is the mastery camo. That is the full mastery camo guide. If you guys do have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer any questions or try to update the pinned comment with any changes they do make. If you guys enjoyed the video again, drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll catch y'all later. Take care, everybody.